Hello everyone. So today in lecture three, we're going to start with a basic problem on model arithmetic, which is, you can say a really good problem for starters. Although this is not a difficult question, but for starter, this is a good question in number theory. So the question is find the reminder when this number one raised to power 2013 plus two raised to power 2013. And this will go on till the last term is 2013 raised to power 2013. If you add all this, you'll get a number which you're going to divide by 2014 and the question is find the reminder when this is divided by 2014. So let's start. Now there are basically two ways to solve this question. The first way is I'm going to calculate the congruence. That means I'm going to calculate the reminder when I divide each and individual number by 2014. Then I'm going to add all the reminders. Now again there are two cases if the reminder is greater than 2014. Then again I'm going to divide by 2014. If it is less than 2014 that will be my final reminder. In this way, you have to calculate the reminder for each and every term, which is divided by 2014. So in this way, we'll go nuts. So obviously, I'm not going to go through this method. We have to find a certain logic here. So let's find out the certain logic. That logic I'm going to use here is I'm going to take first and last term because in total, we have 2013 terms. So I'm going to take first and last. So I'm taking 1 raised to power 2013 plus 2013 raised to power 2013. Let's say I'm calculating the reminder when I'm going to divide this number by 2014. So let's say X is the reminder modulo 2014. That means this equation tells you when I add these two numbers and when I divide by 2014, the reminder is X. Now in the previous classes, I told you we can write 2013. If we divide by 2014 for a moment, I can write this as minus one raised to power 2013. This will not change anything. Again, I can add 2014 here. Again, I can write this at 2013. No problem. And it's congruent to x modulo 2014. Now, since it's minus 1 raised to power odd, you can see here 1 raised to power anything is 1, minus 1 raised to power odd is minus 1. So if I'm, I'm going to add these two, I'll get 0 here. So I can write 0 is congruent to x modulo 2014 here. That means finally I can write this as 1 raised to power 2013 plus 2013 raised to power 2013 is congruent to something when I'm going to divide by 2014. That means we got this as zero. Similarly, I'm going to take the second term and the second last term. That is two raised to power 2013 plus. The second last term is 2012 raised to power 2013. It's congruent to something that I don't know right now. Modulo 2014. Now you'll see a similar pattern. See, everything is raised to power odd because everything is raised to power 2013. So every power is odd. So for a moment, I can write 2012 raised to power 2013. As if I divide by 2014, I can write this as minus two raised to power 2013. Since it's minus two raised to power odd, I can write this as minus two raised to power minus outside two raised to power 2013. Now I can replace this here and as it is, I'll get this as zero. Similarly, I'm going to do it for third and the third last term and then fourth and fourth last term. The sequence will go on and on and on. I can write the third term 3 raised to power 2013 plus the second last third last term is 2011 raised to power 2013. Again, it will be congruent to zero mod 2014. Now, if you notice one thing, we have odd number of terms here because total number of terms is 2013. That means we cannot pair exactly everything. One term will be remaining. The one term will be, I'll write here, 1007 raised to power 2013. That's the middle term in the sequence. So let's take uh, 1007. 1007 is con congruent to something. I've noticed one thing here. Then this is very important part in the problem. 1007 will be congruent to 1007 square because you can calculate the square. And if you divide this number by 2014, you will get the reminder as 1007. If you want, you can calculate and check. Similarly, 1007 raised to power three will give you the same reminder when it's divided by 2014. Again, you can check. It's congruent to 1007 raised to power four. Again, if you calculate this number and divide by 2014, again, you'll get the reminder as 1007. Similarly, if you do it for till the last, which we want 1007 raised to power 2013 you'll get again the reminder as 1007. Now, if you focus on the given question, if we divide the whole thing, 
if we divide the whole thing by 2014, then this will be congruent to every term. See, first and last term, second and second last term are giving you reminder 0. Then only one term is remaining, that is the middle term, which is giving you the reminder 1007. So answer is, this whole thing is congruent to 1007 modulo 2014. That means our answer is reminder is 1007 and that will be all.